We all talk about the digital world. No doubt, it's important and necessary. But what about the real world? What needs to be done to make machines understand, to enable them to securely sense, measure or interpret the real world? We will now discuss how analog device builds the bridge between the world of temperature, touch and pressure and the digital world of the computer. My name is Ralf Czepanski. Welcome to The Business Debate. Kevin Carlin, is Analog Device a digital company? Well, we very much like to play in the digital world. In fact, we enable it. Um, for the best part of 50 years, um, we've prided ourselves in being the best at measurement and measuring uh, what's going on in the analog world. That can take the form of uh, you know, pressure measurements or vibration and other various forms, and, and then converting that information into the digital world that allows for, for more signal processing. And so we serve a wide variety of customers around the world um, with these technologies. Um, we seem to be very good at it, and uh, customers are turning us to do even more than that. And so we not only do the best measurement, but um, we're also helping our customers with uh, extracting that data. And that's actually where the data is born uh, when it converts to the digital world. And, uh, and then we go further than that and assist our customers in interpreting and analyzing that data. So um, we're very much a, a key player in that digital space. So is Smart Factory just a buzzword for you or what is it in reality? Smart Factory, in our opinion, is much more than a buzzword. We're a manufacturer ourselves and uh, we actually are taking many steps to apply our own technologies and expertise to extract more insights from our own operations and in increase our productivity. In fact, that's the promise of Industry 4.0 and the digital or Smart Factory is very much part of that. And so the idea is that um, you want to use more sensing techniques and deploy more sensors to generate more data and extract more insights from that. And um, how do you then interpret and use that to increase your productivity? Um, and so that's very much more than just a buzzword, I would say. Yeah. And what is important to succeed? Well, many things have to happen. In the existing infrastructure, for example, there's a lot of legacy systems. Um, and so there's data there to be extracted and your ability to, to harness that is important. One thing that has to happen, though, is more sens sensors need to be deployed, and that creates a lot more data. And so it's very important that you uh, use that data, you, you make the best measurements that you can, and then you find ways to bring that data up into uh, a place where you can introduce more analytics and, get, and generate more insights into that. Um, and so there's, there's a brownfield aspect to this where the existing infrastructure does not necessarily lend itself for, for digitization of the digital world. And so it's imperative that we find ways to enable the industry to transition from legacy to this, to this new digital world. Mm -hmm. So the brownfield can become smarter and not just the greenfield? We think so. Um, certainly the brownfield, uh, there's an opportunity, as you say, there's lots of equipment there that generates data and so your ability to, to access that and grab it and aggregate it upwards is important and there's different ways of doing that. Um, one opportunity that we also have is um, on the productivity side of things that uh, if you want to um, have your machines working um, with uh, more productivity, that usually happens through or uptime, and if you can use those sensing and measurement techniques and data insight techniques to detect when a machine is going to fail uh, and even diagnose the source of that, then it helps the end users and customers to um, operate more efficiently and therefore gain that productivity. So let's talk about the green field then. What is different today and how do you address it? What's interesting in the green field is that uh, there's, there's incredible investment across the industry in newer digital technologies and this is essentially where we're attempting to take traditional operating technology within the automation hierarchies in a plant, for example, and then introduce the internet technologies. And we often say IT is converging with OT in that. And so um, the investment there, um, again, to deploy more sensors and actually move towards more flexible and distributed architectures um, will allow for more flexible manufacturing, will allow for more insights and higher productivity again is the is the goal there. And so it's important to deploy new types of uh, digital networking capabilities. We're very much focused on helping our customers move towards a very industrial type of ethernet topology 
uh, bringing robustness and real-time determinism in that. And there's different flavors of that. And that's part of the transition that we're working very closely with our customers to enable. What do you see as the biggest challenge facing the industry? Well, as you digitize and you bring uh, these new types of IP networks to the factory, um, um, you inherently open up um, the risk of increased cyber attack or cyber threat. And so cybersecurity um, uh, is, I would say, one of the most important topics in the industry today. It's a complex topic that can be solved only by companies like ourselves and our customers and other partners in the ecosystem coming together. Uh, the cyber attacks can come in many forms and we're taking steps with our customers to make sure that the data that's generated from these sensing uh, modules um, are both highly encrypted but also that the hardware itself in, in, in these networks are trusted and so your ability to determine whether the piece of hardware that you connected to the network is authentic and is actually operating in a safe way and so that's part of the, uh, the approach that we're taking with our customers. It's very, very complex. And I see that as the biggest challenge. Kevin Carlin, thank you for your insights. And thank you for joining us. See you next time at the Business Debate.